Hello, my name is Dr. Rudy Rosen, and I'm your instructor for Texas Aquatic Science and Introduction. I'm a research professor at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment at Texas State University. I recently wrote the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science, in cooperation with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies at Texas A&M University at Corpus Christi. Texas Aquatic Science was modeled after the Missouri Department of Conservation's curriculum, conserving Missouri's aquatic ecosystem, from which some of the text and illustrations were drawn and used or adapted. Funding for our work was provided by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Sport Fish Restoration Program and by the Ewing Halsell Foundation San Antonio. This lesson is adapted from that book. Production of this lesson and video, in part, was funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation through the Research Coordination Network for Climate, Energy, Environment, and Engagement in Semi-Arid Regions. Today's lesson is on energy flow and communities in aquatic ecosystems. To help focus today's lesson, here are a few questions to consider. What are some of the basic survival needs of all living things? What is a population? What's a community? What is habitat? And why is habitat important? Why must organisms compete for resources? What is carrying capacity? What is a niche? Why is a niche important? What are invasive species? Why can they be a problem? What is the source of energy for aquatic communities? How does energy circulate among organisms in an aquatic community? What is a food chain? What's a food web? What's an energy period? Energy pyramid. What's a trophic level? How do predator and prey species keep species populations in balance in communities? What is natural selection? And for additional consideration, here are a couple of additional questions. In what ways might food webs, food chains, and predator-prey relationships be different in a pond, in an estuary, and in the Gulf of Mexico? What happens when one piece is altered or removed altogether? 